We started out with 37 teams in this year's competition and have now whittled it down to the best six. And these teams are going to convince you that they are the next big thing in photonics. So please welcome Jörg Rietner from Trilight. Thanks. Thank you. All right, uh, good afternoon everybody. I'm Jörg from Trilight from Austria. And uh, we are building these tiny things here, uh, which are the world's smallest laser scanners. And uh, with these modules, we can solve uh, many of the most important issues of augmented reality glasses nowadays, which is size, cost, and also weight. Um, you might be familiar with some of these devices, such as the Microsoft HoloLens, for example. And um, when you put on such glasses, you can see 3D objects right in front of you, overlaid over the real world. And uh, don't get me wrong, these are all fantastic devices. But there is one big issue, which you can see here. They are big and they are bulky. And uh, the main reason for that is uh, that the display units they are using inside are also big and bulky. And you, uh, uh, you always need two of those, one for your left and one for your right eye. Uh, one solution for these uh, display modules are so-called um, uh, laser scanners. And um, what you can see here is the smallest of these laser beam scanners you can find nowadays on the market. Well, we can do exactly the same thing in this small, tiny form factor here. And we can do that by uh, first using some advanced laser packaging technologies, which allows us to place three separate chips for red, green, and blue very close to each other and package them in a single tiny package. And the second part here is that we are omitting any kind of uh, large and uh, heavy beam combiner optics in favor of uh, using what we like to call a software beam calibration method. Uh, you can find many different market studies of the whole augmented reality field, and uh, all of them are mostly painting the same picture. This will be the next big thing. This will be the next uh, smartphone-like revolution in technology. And uh, if we are looking just at uh, the total market of these display hardware inside of these augmented reality glasses, we're looking at a market size of roughly uh, $13 billion just in 2020. We founded our company in 2011, and so far we have raised uh, $5 million. Uh, we are based in Vienna in Austria, and uh, our IP is protected by a total of uh, 18 patents all over the world. And uh, so far we have five in the team with uh, four PhD level researchers, and we cover a very wide range of different uh, uh, topics here, ranging from uh, microsystems technology to micro optics, ASIC design, FPGA design, electrical engineering. So this is what we as team are bringing to the table here. We've also got a business guy who is very experienced in startup and fundraising, our CEO Ferdinand. We've had quite a bit of uh, media coverage worldwide already. Uh, for example, Forbes, Wire, Newark Magazine, Discovery Channel, and many, many more. So what, do I, what are we actually looking for? Uh, so far, uh, within the last five years, we've done all of the necessary R&D. We've built our patent portfolio. Uh, we've built our prototypes. And um, right now, since uh, mid of 2016, we had uh, started shipping engineering samples. And right now, we are talking to many of the big players in the AR field and also to many of the big shot uh, companies here in the US. And they are already using our engineering samples. And the feedback we have gotten so far is great. And our next step uh, is now to uh, set up mass manufacturing. And uh, for this, uh, we will need an additional year and an additional $2 million of funding, what we are currently looking for. So thank you for your attention. And I'd also like to point out that we have a booth here at Photonics West. Uh, it's located at the Austria Pavilion in North Hall. So uh, you can see a live demo of our system there if you're interested. And uh, yeah, please visit us. Thanks. Right, let's give a big round of applause for all the participants.